today we've got a free 100 times summon that includes three legends limited characters at the end so the way they're doing this if you guys haven't taken a look at it you actually have different possibilities based on which section that we're doing so from 1 through 97 you can get all these sps when we get all the way to number 98 in the list we can get from these then 99 and get from these and then 100 we can get from these and then when you move to step two look how crazy this gets so this is the second set of 100 tickets that we'll be able to summon for later and it starts actually similarly it just like moves this up substantially so right now we can go all the way up to the beast gohan release with this summon we have it it is free it is definitely getting giving legends legends limited giving legends fast my brain was saying legends limited legends fest a massive sort of step up please tell me for the love of everything that we are going to get a broly animation give me rainbow text because you want to why why would they why would they not give me the rainbow text broly no broly it's three legends limited guarantee wait wait vegeta hey we getting the vegeta animation hey listen as of today of filming this barlock and them just released so i do want to do some barlock summons but i do want to say we're up over a thousand subs today and i appreciate you guys so wait no, no, no. why did it do that what is it doing what it didn't play the summon why did it not play the summon no way I was gonna say you guys should subscribe. It didn't play the summon. I wanted to summon. Did I miss something? Was there a skip button? What? Okay, well, let's at least just see how many SPs we got from this. So 100, we got, let's see, one. It's so annoying that it, I wish you could disable it switching back and forth. Two, three, four, five, six. So out of 100 characters, we got six six sps unless i missed one because of all the rotating back and forth okay so now it's time to do a summon where it doesn't skip i'm i'm pretty sure that i didn't somehow mess that up i'm pretty sure i didn't somehow mess that up i don't i don't think i did did i press the skip nah there's no way no shot i wonder if it does that you know everything that you do has to talk back to a server same thing with dokkan it's why if you guys play dokkan jp uh, and if you don't be grateful that you don't it is so slow it has gotten even slower by the way because everything that we're doing on these games is being logged on a server right tied to our account like right now all the when i when i clicked that summon button it immediately reached out to the server and the server said okay this is what tyler is going to get and then it gave it gave it to me right and then now i'm getting to see this play out two fake outs <laughs> it's always broly so i wonder if it does that so that still doesn't make any sense i don't know that's that's crazy i definitely don't think i i i mean i'll usually leave my ipad down here and then i watch what's happening on the screen on my screen because i'm obviously capturing my gameplay and i i didn't i don't know well, y'all can let me know that's crazy dude i uh i wanted to let that play out because why well, wouldn't i want to let it play i wanted to, you know anticipation but you get anything i use unfortunately like, <laughs> i you know i'm kind of a well but like I'm not a well when you start looking at people like Goresh, right? Like when you look at Goresh, his CC spent is on another level compared to me. He's like trying to red seven units on launch and I don't do that. Uh, sometimes it happens if we do collabs and stuff, but like for the most part, like I, that's not something I'm worried about doing. So anywho, we're about to get back to this infamous step four that is a single summon, but has three times the drop rate for the new unit. Now, since I made my video last night, I've now heard what happened with Ryudin, who went a hundred thousand CC in and ended up having, uh, and sorry, spoilers, I guess, for his video. So my bad, my bad, Ry, in case you're, you know, you didn't want me necessarily to spoil that, but I want to talk about it because I think it's crazy. So, and, and I talked about this immediately in my video last night. I mean, it's obviously a huge change. Legend Limited. It's obviously a huge change to what we're used to, and I'm not sure why they would do that on a game originals and i know there seems to be a decent amount of hype for this character but uh i feel confident in saying that this character woo, dude what is that why am i getting so much more of the ex units did something change did they change i need to look and see like is there a lesser pool of exs that i can like get from is that why this is like i'm getting if you guys watch my summons which is why i titled them stupid i got all the characters um 
like i got multiple of the of both exes and i got two copies of bardock and uh and goku so if i can get a copy of bardock and goku here father please father father uh broly 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 instant transmission this is usually something good for me i don't know why but it seems to tie these random animations with something good then again maybe it means nothing legends limited it means nothing i got android 21 good okay anyways back to back to rai so he spent a hundred thousand cc which is absurd by the way and just ended up having to buy his his bardock and goku which thankfully they still have pity here but they took away tickets why why did they take away why why the entire structure change now granted if you guys watched my ticket video tickets can be pretty trash right I definitely don't necessarily recommend to people doing tickets it's not worth it just if you if you have enough like if you're only sitting on like enough to get the three pack of tickets then probably go for the three pack of tickets right but if you're getting close to you can choose to get like you know 10 tickets or you can get the guaranteed copy or some of the legends limited z power go with the legends limited z power or the guaranteed copy don't go for the tickets because i did like 30 tickets and i pulled two two of the new unit that's it one beast gohan and one of the tag duo that's it so like tickets are just not tickets aren't worth but it is weird to take the tickets away in this case okay it's just it's all so interesting and and again it might be a bold statement i don't think it's that bold to say that beast gohan and a super saiyan blue uh kaioken and evolution goku and vegeta are more hype than bardock and goku and i know everyone has different tastes so i mean i'm sure some of you guys like the bardock and goku more and again as i talked about in in detail in my video the implications of both uh not both but of this unit is stronger than both the other two i think it's cool that beast came back so fast and we got a, him transforming and all of that especially when um and this is no shade but you know you've got dokon sitting over here for the last year all we've had access to beast is through an active skill uh so like to come back to beast already so soon on legends just a year later and have a transforming version is huge i think it's really really cool but the implications of of what could be uh you know in the future of legends is much strong what is ha this is what i'm saying what is happening what why am i getting so much of this guy it's like insane how much more of that ex i'm getting than ever in the past i mean i i leave these banners a lot of the times without the new ex like because they're so hard to get i'm not complaining by the way but yeah so like this this in term in terms of like the ripple effect to the future of the game much stronger but in terms of my own pure hype i was more excited for you know beast and uh beast and bardock so anyways all that to say I definitely wish that that free summon would have actually played out. I definitely wish that I would have got, a, you know, a little something, something, but it is, it is what it is. And I hate to hear that about Rai, bro. I hate to hear that about Rai. Never would want to see like that's I've never got why people want to see people get shafted. Like, I know it can be funny sometimes in the moment, but for the most part, I really don't ever want to see someone get shafted because it's just, it's it's not like it's not worth dude it's not it's not worth like you never want to be shafted in these games plain and simple uh and and i'd never wish that upon literally anyone and it's like when people will tag me on something like nano i'm sorry man i saw your shaft but like i got this and i'm like nah bro don't be sorry like i'm glad you got that like i'm glad your luck was so much better than mine if mine was bad in in whatever video it might be uh and if you guys just watch the highlights or just watch the shorts and this is your first time seeing one of these videos which I mean, minus the EX, I'm not exactly getting all that lucky, am I? <laughs> like, it not, not this hasn't been uh, like insane or anything. But you know, a lot of the times, like especially in short form, like most of the time, I've made a couple of short form that like highlight some of the shaft things. But most of the time, the short form is more focused on like the highlights. And not to say I haven't had some crazy summons this year, but can't also deny the fact that I've had a lot of bad summons too. And so, anywho like when i am getting shafted and someone feels like sorry to share like that they had good luck i'm like nah bro you should never be sorry about that because i'm glad like these are gotcha games take your wins bro like take your wins and when you see your friends getting wins and i know sometimes it might might suck if you're playing too and you got shafted but we want everyone to get as many wins as possible because it's just it's a guy it's a gotcha and you want you you don't want to have to go crazy on these banners you just don't 
playing it plain and simple. So I hate to hear that about Rai. Uh, very thankful it did not happen to me, I won't lie. But would have rather just not happen to literally anyone. So uh, banner change sucks, and he proves that plain as day. Okay, here we go. I, I did the content creator event really fast so I could finish out this step. Bardock and Goku, please. Ooh, uh, Bardock and Goku? Bardock and Goku? Imagine I get the the infamous blue Goku and Bardock animation, which people are telling me that we've never seen before, but I'm like, I bet it exists somewhere, right? Okay, we're winning. So weird to feel, feel bad about winning, right? But like, geez, man, if you, if you can lose this blue, lose this blue, you know? <laughs> hey, it's my dad and he's a, he's a super saiyan. I, I guarantee you anything, by the way, we're gonna get another Bardock and Goku and they'll go Super Saiyan. 100%. It's it's inevitable. They purposely left them base and made it like canon for the story because they wanted to revisit them at some point. All right, here we go. The infamous free single summon step. Finally back here one last time. Ooh, with Jocko. Hang on. I'm on Namek. I know my father's gonna come through for me here. Okay. No rainbow text either. It's just, it's just gonna be it. You know what? The screen's gonna go black. I know. Watch this. You guys ready for this? Watch. It's, it's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Bruh. I'm the fool for thinking that was gonna be Bardock and Goku. But you know what? You're not gonna be one because you're gonna click on this video right here. You're gonna love it. I know you are. And I'll see you all over there. Bye.